we got a question from Nathan. And uh, given that golf is a rotational sport, I'm wondering if I should incorporate rotational moves into my regular kettlebell training. No. No, don't do that. Uh, I can never... I, I am never a fan of ballistic rotation with kettlebells, barbells, uh, dumbbells. Uh, I know it's the big thing online. You see people do it all the time. Um, I, I don't think it's a good idea. Now, the reason I think that is, you know, I started throwing the discus in 1970. I retired officially uh, in 2011. And... Uh, I still coach. Uh, in fact, my phone was pinging not long ago. Uh, my athletes want to get together and go throw. You know, I threw ten to 15,000 times a year in the ring. Um, I tried every rotational exercise that had ever been invented up to the time. None of them carried over. Uh, I will take you back uh, to a 1964 Strength and Health article I read about uh, uh, golf and track and field. And he, the author, referenced uh, uh, Harry Pascal, who wrote the Bosco series, who died the week I was born, which I always think is kind of funny. And Pascal said the best way to build rotational straining, uh, ro rotational strength was to squat, deadlift, and do the Olympic lifts. This article from 1964 said the best way to train for track and fields rotational events was the squat family, the deadlift family, and the Olympic lifts. And I still think that's true. With kettlebells, uh, there is a book called Kettlebells for Golf. The one thing they do add in this, and, and I would be better, I'd be okay with this, is they add the windmill family and variations. Uh, but a lot of that is, is to make sure that the whole system stays pliable and flexible. And what I liked about the windmill when I first started to do it is, uh, many of us will windmill on one side and we are, you know, we are, we are the cover, cover model of Windmill Monthly. And then you go to the other side and we look like a broken down sailboat. You know, all the masts are broken and the rigging. One of the nice things about the windmill is it gives you a chance to assess both sides of, uh, of your rotation without any ballistic issues. So I'm answering the question, but you go on, okay? Okay. Um, which is, uh, he goes on to say his regular, uh, Nathan says, uh, his regular kettlebell training, which is focused on the basic bilateral moves and some unilateral movements. Uh, I see on the inter internet, the internet's not always a good place to go, but okay. Uh, however, that a lot of trainers seem almost scared of rotational work due to the, due to the risk of spine injuries. Yeah, uh, when, uh, when I work with Stu McGill, Stu really supports my idea of golfers doing, golfers, discus throwers, kickers, strikers, everybody, suitcase carries. And, I, and I'm looking here, I'm looking here for suitcase carries and I don't see it. Uh, if I was working with golfers or discus throwers, the only exercise I might do with them is suitcase carries. If, if oh, sorry, if I was given that, you can only do one exercise. Sorry, I forgot the, forgot the intro to the question. Uh, the answer. If I could only do one exercise with discus throwers, say, or uh, golfers, it'd be the suitcase carry because you need that. You need to be strong in every step you take as the whole body, you know, the, as that whole body swings around, your hips come forward, your shoulders, you know, uh, go the opposite way. Um, I think that is the best way to build that weird, you know, uh, superstructure of the human body to make it better for throwing the discus far, hitting the ball far. Uh, but he adds an important question, ladies and gentlemen. This is important. If I'm not yet in the best shape and I'm using kettlebells because they're effective while safer, am I making a mistake by trying rotational movements? That is, am I already getting all I need for my level of golf with the basics? Right. Uh, yes. Uh, the basics, the foundations, uh, and this can be the broadest answer of any question I've ever done. Those are always the correct answer. The basics, the foundational movements are always the best way to approach uh, anything in your career. Um, Dave Davis wrote that article for Track Technique back in 
March and April of 1974, where he said that the Olympic lifting three, the press, the snatch, the clean jerk, the powerlifting three, the bench press, the squat, and the deadlift are the best foundation for training for anybody, anything they do. If you throw in a loaded carry like the suitcase carry, farmer walk, sled pull, you know, push, you know, push a car, push a prowler, you know, that's going to carry you a long ways in your career. When you start to get at all sports specific, it, oh, I tell you, it, it really, you know, if you, if you have, I, mean, I remember someone telling me years and years ago, and I got to be careful about saying this out loud because someone might try this, but rat poison, I guess at some level is a great uh, way to burn fat. I don't, please don't take, okay, don't, but it's, <laughs> and and then the author went on, it's all about the dosage. And I went, well, yeah, I mean, I don't trust myself with this. I'm sure, I mean, everything's all about the dosage. Uh, with me, specific training is all about the dosage. And it takes me right back to, you know, kind of the rat poison thing. I'm not good enough to program specific training for most people. It. Um, I'm working with a discus thrower now and she's in her, third full year with me and I talked to her the other day about this fall where to do some overweight discus throwing and uh, she said to me why why didn't we do this before and I said well you weren't yet ready for it and when I say overweight she's going to throw she's a she throws the one kilo discus and we're going to have her throw the 1.5 the master's men's 50 to 59 discus and it took me three years of her teaching her the Olympic lifts, uh, the front squat, the loaded carry family, uh, an appropriate modern technique to finally move up to a little bit more specific weight training, throwing the 1.5 discus. And even then I'm worried it's too heavy, but we're not going to worry about that on this podcast. Uh, but it took three years to, and she's a very good thrower to be able to handle that. So Nathan, you can live for a long time on the basics, the fundamentals, and do really well. Um, I would love to see you uh, do the basics, and and you know, and I'm and I'm going to give you an idea. But if I, it's an idea that we did out of uh, uh, you know, this is obviously a track idea, but it's called mixed training. It comes from Peter Sheen, and I love this. In fact, Pavel talked about this in the early two thousand, because this is how I trained. I would take a kettlebell out to the field with me when I was throwing the discus. Um, I would throw the discus 10 times and I would do clean and press. I'd throw the discus 10 times. I would do swings, throw a discus 10 times and I would do um, goblet squats or whatever. It's not important. I would suggest you go out to the driving range, you know, hit uh, half a bucket of balls. Um, if you If you don't, I mean, I wouldn't worry about what people thought, but you know, do some goblet squats, hit the other half of the go uh, uh, bucket of balls, uh, do some swings, uh, get the next bucket of balls, hit some of them uh, goofy style, the opposite way. Uh, get yourself an additional club or, or like one, one of my friends told me, just use a hockey stick. I went, oh, um, I, which I thought was hilarious. It's a very, uh, you know, uh, I, I think there's a movie about uh, uh, a gentleman using hockey sticks to hit the golf ball. Uh, uh, Mr. Madison. Um, uh, Happy Gilmore. Happy Gilmore. Um, yeah, I, I, you know, I just, you know, hit someone the other side. Uh, just because I, I think there's some, I have my discus throwers uh, throw left-handed a few throws just to, you know, get the shake up the, shake up the brain a little bit, you know, you know, give you something to think about. Um so go to the driving range, you know, hit some balls, do some kettlebells. I don't think that's a te uh, kettlebells. Kettlebells. I, I don't think that's a bad idea. Try it. Get back to me. Okay. Thank you.